Hello, my name is Cameron Penner, and welcome to a very exciting Game Maker tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create flingable objects. So pretty much you're going to have an object, and you'll be able to click it and throw your mouse off to the side and then let go of the mouse, and then the object will just go flying across the screen. And it's a lot of fun, and I'm just going to hop right into it. So first we're going to want a, a sprite of our object. And I'm just going to make it a ball in this case, just because they're very simple to draw. And we're going to center that. We're going to also add an object, and we're going to call it Object Guy. We'll change the sprite. I actually pressed the wrong button there. I meant to make a new sprite, but I ended up making an object. Anyways, now we're going to add a sprite of the wall. Going to add a new one. And we're just going to fill that in like that. Now we're going to add an object wall, make that solid. Choose the sprite. Now we're going to add our uh, take our object guy we're gonna we're gonna add an event create set the variable hold to zero now we're gonna add an event mouse left pressed that's when the mouse left clicks on the character it performs this event and we're gonna set variable hold to one now we're gonna add another event mouse global mouse left released set variable hold to zero now we're gonna add a step step end step and we're gonna add some motion for our direction we're gonna use an expression and we're this is how it goes point direction x comma y comma mouse underscore x comma mouse underscore y and we're going to do speed is actually going to be the exact same thing except instead of point direction it's going to be point distance and that should actually work I think we're done now I'm just going to try actually we're not done I tricked you. We need to make the guys bounce off the walls. That's what the walls are there for, right? Oh, by the way, when I'm clicking and I'm just like creating a bunch of walls and they just keep popping out of my mouse, what I'm doing is I'm holding down shift and then placing them in the room. I know I th that took me the longest time to figure out. And finally one day I learned it and it made me so happy because then I didn't need to click every single space in the room to like fill the entire floor. So we're gonna go to object guy and we're gonna add a collision with the wall. We're gonna bounce precisely against solid objects. Now what I like to do when I bounce is I set the variable speed to speed divided by two. And that's a really simple way of making the ball slow down when it hits walls. We're go also going to add some friction and that'll just make the ball slowly slow down. And we're going to set the friction to 0 0.01. Not a whole lot, but it's enough to kind of stop the ball after a while. Now we're going to run this and see what happens. Oh, see that? They're all following the mouse. Now here's what we want to do. I missed a step and step. See where it does all this? You don't want it to always do that. You want it to only do that if variable hold is equal to 1. That's why we put all this stuff in there. If hold is equal to 1, then it goes. Now this should work. I think I'm done. I never did a test run through this tutorial, so... Oh yeah. That looks really good. Well, 
I hope that you guys can somehow use that in your games and make awesome games where you fling objects around. And I know I made this one game. Oh, that's that's one problem with this is when you go right against the wall, you go to the other side, then the object just hops to the other side. So there are there are ways of avoiding that, but I'm not going to work through any of that this tutorial. And uh yeah, I know I made a game where my main character was a ball and it was actually the head of a guy and I had to fling him around and you had to fling him through the level and uh... cause there was no arrow keys and stuff right cause he didn't have legs to walk so you just had to kind of toss him around there was gravity and it was a lot of fun and uh... yeah well this is Cameron Penner and this was I think this is probably going to be my shortest tutorial I ever do but not the worst it's it's very valuable and it's got a lot of handy stuff in here and I hope you guys learned something